continue to plague many airports across this country, especially Toronto's Pearson International. Staff shortages are said to contribute to this, but the Canadian Airports Council says the other main reasons? Are the cumbersome COVID-19 protocols. The random testing and health questions, for example. That is why they want them scrapped. So let's continue this discussion. Joining us now with more is infectious diseases physician, Dr. Suman Chakrabarty. Doctor, welcome back to the program. Good morning, Izzy. So let's begin with the COVID health protocols at the airport. The airport's council, as I mentioned, is asking for their removal. From a business perspective, of course, is resulting in a lot of frustration, a lot of inefficiencies. And then there's the medical perspective. Uh, they say, given the high vaccination rate, they're not necessary. Would you agree? Uh, I would totally agree with that. Look, we're in a different phase of the pandemic where we have to remember in Canada, we have greater than 90% of people on the ground who are vaccinated. And let's not forget that uh, the people who are unvaccinated are largely at this point immune, having been exposed to the virus. So when we look at uh, the, these measures, what are we actually doing? I don't think we're actually doing anything that's medically useful. And it's obviously causing a lot of delay in travel, making travel very difficult. And ironically, when you have a lot of people who are crowded together, you're increasing transmission anyway. So I think that we really need to re-examine this and scrap a lot of the, this theater. So let's talk about the uh, vaccine, the travel vaccine mandate. And this, in many ways, is contributing to this with the Arrive Can app and uh, the questions that come with it. Uh, at the time when it was implemented, it was because of the high cases and it was also the justification was to reduce transmission. As you know, science evolves. What is the science saying now? Yeah, this is another thing that uh, I think uh, is important to change as well, is that the vaccine is amazing at stopping severe disease. That's one thing that we know. But unfortunately, we're seeing that it doesn't do very good at uh, reducing transmission, especially on a population scale. So when you, when you can't actually reduce transmission, you're basically now just keeping people who are unable to get or who don't want to get vaccinated or unable to get vaccinated off a plane for no good medical reason. And, and I think that's discriminatory. So I think at this point, especially in the new phase of the pandemic, the vast, vast majority of us are protected. I think it's time to now uh, drop that uh, mandate and allow people who haven't gotten the vaccine to now board planes and trains to be able to go see their loved ones. At the time as well, it's been described to me that this was to accelerate, if not encourage, uh, vaccine uptake. Did it have that effect? Maybe for the first little bit it did. I think it, there's no question that uh, mandates do do something initially up front, but in the long term, did it really did it really get to the populations that at this point uh, were not wanting to get the vaccine? I don't think so. And I think that we have to remember that from previous vaccine campaigns, uh, the max that we ever got was something like 40 percent. When you look at things like influenza, so to get you know 90, 91 percent of people on the ground, and if you look at high risk populations in Canada, it's something more like 97 to 98 percent. We did a wonderful job of getting people vaccinated, but let's not forget that people who haven't been vaccinated also have a significant amount of immunity due to uh, exposure. So we're in a very, very good place. I don't think we need to coerce people to get vaccinated. I think now it's time for us to move forward and realize that as a population, we're very, very well protected against SARS-CoV-2. I have literally just a few seconds, but uh, some would say that this is perhaps an irresponsible time. Are you confident that if this were to be lifted, that there wouldn't be a high up uptick in numbers? We might see some uptick, but look, this is not where the majority of transmission is happening in travel. It's happening in households and workplaces. So definitely, I think now's the time. I don't think that we're going to have anything that uh, makes it, for example, hospitals to be, be overflowed. We're in a good spot. It's time to lift these restrictions. All right, we have to leave it there. Dr. Suman Chakrabarty, we appreciate it. Thank you, sir.